All right, this is a quick YouTube video to explain how to record music as well as microphone at the same time. And if this is working properly, you'll be able to hear and listen to music, Burial, Archangel, um, as well as speaking and recording both. Now, this is especially useful for people who are trying to play um, things such as video games or just trying to stream what they're saying as well as what they're doing at the same time. Uh, I mean, this of course is uh, one especially useful situation. Uh, Procaster live stream. Um, those applications, I had a very hard time trying to figure this out for because uh, not many people are using it. And they're either just playing the video game music or they're just talking or the people who were trying to help me, they couldn't explain it very well but I had to figure this out myself you do is go in the control panel hardware and sound, this is for Windows 7 it may be the same for Vista, I don't have it I can't tell you but you just go to sound and change system sounds to the recording tab Microphone, stereo mix should be there. Stereo mix isn't there. Right click. Make sure both these are checked. Should be there. You're gonna have to right click it. So make sure that is the default device. It's already as de default, so it's not gonna show it for me. It'll show for this one. All right, I'll just reverse them. Okay, this is wrong. All right, set as default device. Default communication device. Alright, and make sure the levels are low because it's very, especially for Sonbex, it records very loud. And I have no idea why, and it's, it's kind of annoying, but it's very low. Leave it at default, you don't really have to change that. But we do have to change from microphone. Let's go to custom. Microphone boost, make sure your voice is louder than the audio that you're streaming. In Winamp, I have this down to like 40%, so and this is up to 80% with the boost on, and that's fairly loud for voice. Music is much louder than the human voice. So, there you have it. Everything else in the playback section should be just about right. Of course, if it's not, you can always go to properties, change the levels, you know, just mess around with this stuff, and I don't, I don't really like touching that. I'd rather just go to the recording, make sure that the levels that are going in are just loud enough. Right? And this is a much different process for XP. You actually have to trick it, or what I think is tricking it to, into working the same way. I'll append that video to the end of this one. Okay, this is the second part of the video showing you how to record music and microphone at the same time. And this edition is for Windows XP. And if you're still using XP, uh, you have to go to volume control. And that's my quick launch. I'm going to show you how to do it the normal way, I guess. Uh, sound volume 32.exe, so it's SND, F, F, SND, V, O, L, 32.exe. Alright, and here is your master volume controls, and you have to go to options, properties, First off, go to playback. And you're going to have to select everything that you want to be uh, captured all at once, I guess. Uh, master volume, of course, you, it has to be on. Microphone, line in, I'm not sure it has to be on. Just microphone and master volume is good, good enough. And let's go to recording. Only check the two that you want to record. So that will be microphone and stereo mix. Alright, just leave this on recording and go to OK. Okay, and you 
notice this is where most people get stuck. Um, as you see here, you have to select one or the other, microphone or stereo mix. Well, right now I have stereo mix on, and you can hear me. I'm recording. And that is because playback. It's playing back the microphone. So it's playing back what it's recording, essentially recording the stereo mix. So the microphone's being played back, stereo mix is picking it up, and you're recording it. So that is how you do it. And if your microphone isn't loud enough, mine's always way too loud. The stereo mix at least, the microphone boost helps a lot. Because the microphone's, the microphone's always way too quiet. And I always have to have the levels really low and the boosts up, and it's it's a complicated mess. I, I really want to explain it. Sound Max HD audio probably the worst uh, sound drivers I've ever encountered. They're, they're terrible. They're on board on most Asus computers, motherboards, I guess. And so um, I just hate it. It's like uh, almost worse than creative, and nothing is worse than creative. So that's it, and once again, make sure that what you are playing back, the music, sounds, whatever is going over your voice is not too loud that it's actually drowning out what you're trying to say. Uh, I'm playing some rather chill music right now, it's a Yerkos Y, and I'll put a link to that on the side if you need any help finding it, or if you like it, I'm not sure. Right. But that's all I have to say. About Windows XP. Um, I've shown you pretty much everything. So here is the settings once more. Master volume, microphone. I'm pretty sure you don't need that in. But I'm just gonna leave it on. Microphone stereo mix. Make sure those are checked. Alright. Hopefully this was helpful.